Hello everybody. Here I have a fidget spinner where I have attached some ring magnets on it and if I spin this fidget spinner up you will see that the shape of the magnetic field that is created by these three magnets will shift or change. And here I have my magnetic viewing film and this is what this looks like when it's not rotating and so I will spin it up and then you will see how the field changes like this you will see in the center there is a bright green spot and yeah see how the field changes over overall and the way this magnetic viewing film works is the dark spots is where the magnetic field is the strongest and the brighter the color gets the field is weaker. So this basically gives you an idea of how strong the field is where. And the white line of course is where there is no magnetism, this would be the plane of inertia or where the dielectric is. And now I will spin it up even faster. So you see right in the center there is a bright green spot. So we have low magnetic flux, almost no magnetism in the center. And this is when it's spun up. So we basically have a dielectric vortex in the center created. And yeah. Now I will also show you a slow motion video that I've captured with this so you can get an even better idea of what is going on. So I have just here my phone and I will play the slow motion video for you so you can see the difference and also I will just some holders here so I can place the viewing film on top and on here I have the slow motion video that I will play. So you can see at the center there is a bright spot forming that is not here when it's standing still. And replay it. You will also see these um, black triangles that are forming here. And yeah, you see basically how the Maybe I can get a good standstill image of it, like this. And you will see how the shape of the field itself has changed compared to when it's just like this. So this is captured at 960 frames per second. So you can see quite well how rotating the magnets or the entire magnetic field created by this magnet itself changes the shape of it and this can also be explained quite easily why this is happening because you have to imagine the magnetic field itself is already rotating. So let me remove this. I will show you this with uh, little toy, it's called the Toro Flux. Let me zoom out a bit. So you can see it even better. So this toy is basically a continuous string of yeah, metal, but if I just um, make it smaller like this, you get like a circle. If I unwrap it, you get a toroid like this, like the magnetic field itself. So this is a quite good um, representation of what the magnetic field looks like. And a magnetic field, as I said, is already rotating by itself. And you can imagine this, like if I push it down a bit, and you will see the inside there are basically two vortices on both sides or both poles. And yeah, we have the, the torrid shape of the 
magnetism itself. And basically what we are doing here is we are changing the rate of rotation, which is also called the Lamour frequency or gyromagnetic precession. And if you change that rate of rotation, you also change the field itself. So if you spin it faster, you will get a larger hole in the center. This was the bright spot that you saw in the center where no magnetism was. And yeah, also the magnetic field itself gets um, smaller. So this is also the difference between a strong magnet and a weak magnet. If you take two identical shaped magnets and one is in, for example, N40 Gauss and the other N52, you will see under the magnetic viewing film that the weaker magnet has a bigger magnetic field and a smaller hole in the center that you see here. And if you take the stronger magnet like this, you will see it has a bigger hole in the center but a smaller toroid or magnetic field. And this is only because you change the rate of gyromagnetic precession and or the Lamour frequency itself. And of course, if we take this field that is generated or manifested by these three magnets and spin the field itself, we change the rate of the Lamour frequency and or the, we change the rate of rotation of the field itself or induce, introduce a, a new rotation and therefore um, also change the shape of the field itself which is very interesting I think because you can of course do this with let me zoom in a bit you can do this by um, just applying a rotating magnetic field that you generate with a normal coil, like an electromagnet. So if you imagine, take a, a copper coil and uh, add a battery to it, you will change a magnetic, uh, you will create a magnetic field that is also rotating by itself and therefore you would also change the overall field itself. But you couldn't do the same if you just spin it because then you also introduce an additional rotation to the field and therefore change its shape. And I will also give you some more analogies or examples. This is an easy analogy. This is just a glass of water with a spoon. You have all done this before. If you rotate the water, you will see we will create a vortex in it. So. Before I rotated it, there was just water here where the spoon is. But if I rotate it, you will see there is now air in there where before water was. So basically what this tells you, if you take water as the analogy for magnetism and air as the analogy for dielectricity, you will see when the magnetic field is spinning, you will get at the center a dielectric vortex. And depending on how fast you spin it, you change, of course, the shape of the field. And I also have a different analogy. I will also show you this on my phone. And let me just get the video out. Takes me a second, sorry. But this is also very interesting to view. This is just a, a bubble of water in zero gravity on the International Space Station. And as you can see, there are some air bubbles in, in the water bubble. And if they spin the bubble itself, you will see the air has moved to the center like a vortex and creates this toroidal let's say water field or magnetic field and in the center where air is there is no water this would be dielectric and yeah here they have added some particles for it to show even better 
but yeah, as you can see, now they spin it a bit faster. So also the shape has changed, it's not entirely round anymore. And don't take this analogy too far because the magnetic field itself is not just um, it's not just spinning like this, but it's spinning like this. As you can imagine this. It's not spinning in one direction, it's spinning like this. And you can also see this on the Toro flux quite well. This would be a more accurate representation. If you just follow the line that you see here, you will see it's spinning in like this and coming as like a torsion in the field itself. You get what I mean. And also what I, what you see on top of here is this um, spirograph pattern that you see here. And you also see the same spirograph pattern um, with just a regular magnet under the magnetic viewing film. And this is, yeah, of course the pattern that you see when something is rotating. But this will be the topic for my next video. So stay tuned for that. And this is it for this video now. So thanks for watching and have a nice day and goodbye.